You know, there are a lot of things that we can fix in this world. We can do something about. We can design the cities that we live in, the kinds of houses we live in, the market, the economy, currency, how many trees we're going to cut, how many fish we're going to catch. Those things human beings can manage and control because we create them and do them. But some things are facts of life. We have to live with the speed of light, gravity, uh, entropy, the first and second laws of thermodynamics. Those are things that we have to accept and work ourselves around. And there is another one that is absolutely crucial. It's a mathematical reality called exponential growth. If something is growing at 1% a year, it'll double in 70 years. 2% a year, it'll double in 35 years. 3% a year in 24 years. 4%, 17 and a half years. Anything growing exponentially will double in a predictable length of time. Now I'm going to show you why all of this stuff about we got to keep growing, keep the economy growing, we've got to keep everything growing is ultimately suicidal. I'm going to give you a system analogous to the planet and that's a test tube full of food for bacteria. So the test tube and food is the planet and the bacteria are us. Now I'm going to introduce one bacterial cell in and it's going to divide every minute. That's exponential growth. So at time zero, at the beginning, there's one cell. One minute, there are two. Two minutes, there are four. Three minutes, there are eight. Four minutes, 16. That's exponential growth. And at 60 minutes, the test tube is completely packed with bacteria and there's no food left. So we have a 60 minute growth cycle. When is the test tube only half full? Well, of course, the answer is at 59 minutes. Even though it's been chugging along for 59 minutes, it's only half full, but one minute later, it'll be completely filled. So that means at 58 minutes, it's 25% full. 57 minutes, it's 12.5% full. At 55 minutes of a 60-minute cycle, it's 3% full. At uh, 55 minutes, one of the bacteria says, hey guys, I've been thinking, we got a problem. We got a population problem. The other bacteria would say, Jack, what the hell have you been smoking, man? 97% of the test tube's empty and we've been around for 55 minutes. And they'd be five minutes away from filling it. So say bacteria are no smarter than humans. At 59 minutes, they go, oh my God, Jack was right. We got one minute left. What are we going to do? Well, don't give any money to those economists that are saying we got to keep growing all the time. Uh, give it to those scientists. So they massively inject money into the scientific community. And guess what? In less than a minute, those bacterial scientists invent three new test tubes full of food. That'd be like us finding three more planets that we could use. What happens? At 60 minutes, the first test tube's full. 61 minutes, the second's full. 62 minutes, all four are full. By quadrupling the amount of food in space, we buy two extra minutes. Our home is the biosphere. It's fixed and finite. It can't grow. And we've got to learn to live within that finite world. Every scientist I've talked to agrees with me. We've already passed the 59th minute.